Hey, this is Chris with version 0.2 release of Fanuc driver. You can go to ladder 99 Fanuc driver and check out the, uh, the releases page where you can download the Windows executables as well as Linux Docker images, both for um, Linux 64 bit and Linux uh, running on ARM as well. So a couple things, a couple changes in this version is we've rearranged the configuration to make it easier to work with multiple machines. Uh, we've added InfluxDB line protocol output and we've added shutter output for the MT Connect agent. Uh, if you haven't watched the previous video on how to install the driver in Windows, please watch it here. Otherwise, let's go through some of the changes in the configuration first. So the configuration is available um, where you extract the files, which I did in CLadder 99 for Nuke Driver, and config-example YAML is the default example configuration. At the bottom of this file, you have a machine section which lists multiple machines that you might want to collect data from and send it to various different outputs. So here, since we're, we're using YAML, we, we use the uh, merge operator that merges other sections into each one of these machines. Each machine is, has an identifier, and these have to be unique. They're identified when the Fanuc driver is running. So in this example, we would want to enable the shutter output which is, right, this could be called anything. This could be called your um, Fnuc1, for example. And what this defines is we've commented out the machine disabled section, which means that the machine is going to be enabled when the Fnuc driver starts up. We're identifying the source as source-1, collector as collector-1, and target as target shutter-1. So now if we scroll up, let's look... Uh, through each one of these sections. So here's an example of shutter, out, shutter output, which is target shutter one. And here we're defining basically which port, the device name, as it's gonna be used in empty connect, and the heartbeat used by the empty connect uh, agent and the adapter itself. So each one of these sections breaks out the target configurations then there's the collector configurations, which identify the data that's going to be collected. Uh, for this one, we've left it as collector one, which is going to collect machine info, alarms, messages, state data, production data, axi and spindle data. Then the sources. So here we're using source one, which is the focus endpoint. This is the IP address to the uh, Fanuc machine and the port. And above, uh, there's a bunch of other configuration on how the data should be processed and etc. But you shouldn't have to touch that. So here, going back here, we want to enable uh, the machine that we have set to output a shutter. And we want to save this configuration. Next thing we're going to want to do is actually set up the MT Connect agent the sample empty connect devices file is available here you can download that and save it to where you unzip the agent the agent is available at github empty connect cpp agent and we're working with 1.8.0.2 so what i've done is first i've extracted the new fanuc driver files into this folder and then i have extracted the empty connect agent files into this folder and saved the configuration as devices.xml and that file looks like this this is an empty connect model file then i also modified the agent config so the agent config for the empty connect agent what i did is uh, change the default name of the adapter of the device adapter uh, this comes from the device model itself, but it's not that important. What's important here is that we're pointing at 
this local host and this port. So what we're going to do is we're going to start up the Fnuke driver, which is going to start up the shutter adapter from the guys at Trackhound, and it's going to run it on uh, 7878 so that the agent can talk to it on port 7878. And the other change is I just disabled the styles for now so we could see the raw XML output. Once that is ready, uh, we can open up a command prompt and go to CD ladder 99, CPP agent, bin, and we can start the agent with agent.exe debug. Uh, I don't know if I have to call out the agent config. Let's see. Oh, you know what? This can't find the uh, the adapter because we're calling probably uh, agent.cfg. And let's see. No, okay, I see what's wrong. It's in agent.config. We have to call out the device's XML file, which is uh, same running directory, devices.xml. Let's save that. And then we can start it by passing in debug. And I think we're passing an agent config to use this configuration file. Okay, great. So uh, right now, the agent is unable to connect to the adapter, which is correct. But we can connect to the agent itself. And we see the probe information. If we go to current, we should see everything as unavailable. All right, great. So now that we've started up the agent, we've modified the configuration so that the shutter output is enabled, and we can go back into Windows Services and start the driver again. Once the driver starts up, uh, the log files are in ladder 99 for new driver, driver log. We can actually take a look at it, see what's happening. It's wider. Okay. So this is typical output of the driver starting. Mm -mm -mm. Strategy was initialized and started and the machine tasks are running. So now we should be able to refresh. This data. There we go. So we connected back. I think I clicked in the screen. That's why I got hung up. Um, so now if we refresh, we'll be able to see most of the data available, right? So the CNC we're connected to is a three axis simulator and not everything is configured yet, quite yet. Uh, we're still missing some messages. But if you start taking a look at the current data, you're gonna see that you have values coming across. Uh, there's path override, uh, the rapid override, the spindle override, uh, the program information, as well as uh, some of the timers of how long the machine's been powered, operating and loaded, the tool number being used currently we scroll down, I left the template in there for a rotary axis A, but obviously that data is not coming through because we don't have an axis A. What we do have, however, is a spindle. We have the X axis and Y and Z, and we also have, what do we have here? Um, we have some more controller data here. Um, I think that was the controller data. Yeah, that was the path one controller data here. So if we go back to our simulator and let's say we run the program and we refresh the current page, All right, we're gonna look at, for example, the axis positions. You can see that they're changing. Um, 
so the shutter output is mostly working. So this is how you start up uh, the shutter output again. Uh, where, where are we in the config example? The the key that controls which machine is going to be enabled is this disabled uh, section here. And if you uncomment it, that that machine is going to get enabled and run when the Fanuc driver starts up. That's it. In the next release, uh, there's going to be a little more shutter changes, and we're going to host an agent and send some of this data off to um, store in a database and display it on Grafana. All right, thanks. Good luck.